Welcome to our channel. How you guys doing? I'm doing all right. If you don't know by now, my name is Gerald and I'm back with another Ruckus video. Now today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a dynamic pre-share key for authenticated users on your network. Now once you're logged in, you're going to want to navigate over to your networks and choose the network that you want to edit. We're going to edit our test network. Choose edit. Now if you have a radius server, you're going to want to choose the 802.1 option. Once you choose it, it's going to prompt you to enter in all your server information. We're going to keep it on open and WPA for right now. Then we're going to navigate down to show advanced options. Once you get here, you're going to navigate over to zero IT and DPSK and check enable zero IT activation. Now what this is, say you're in an airport or maybe a bus station or maybe a hotel and you connect to a wireless network. Now although you connect, you get another message that's saying you're connected but you're connected unsecurely or your connection is unsecure. What Zero IT Activation is going to do is it's going to allow you to download a wireless configuration specifically for your device that's going to make your connection secure. I know you don't want your guests connecting to your network unsecurely, right? I didn't think so. So check this box. Next, we're going to go down to Dynamic PSK. Enable Dynamic PSK. Now here you can choose a length from 8 to 62 characters. So for this video, we're going to make it as secure as possible and keep it on 62 characters. And right below this, you have two other options, Secure DPSK and Mobile Friendly DPSK. Now the difference between the two, Secure DPSK is going to include almost all your printable ASCII characters, which is going to include periods, hyphens, dashes, etc. Now although this option is more secure, it's going to be difficult for mobile clients whose keyboards may not contain these characters to input those characters in. So we're going to simplify it just a little bit and use the mobile friendly DPSK, which is only going to include uppercase characters, lowercase characters, and numbers. So once we're done with that, we're going to come down here to the expiration of the DPSK. And let's say you have a guest. Uh, let's call our guest Brian. So Brian's only going to be on site for one day. So we're going to change this from unlimited to one day, and we're going to make it effective from the time we create it. Once that's done, we're going to go down here to the limit, DPSK, which is going to allow us to limit the number of devices Brian can connect to the network. We're only going to allow him one device for right now, and then we're going to choose OK. So once you choose that and the user has been created for Brian, Brian is going to use this activation URL to download that wireless configuration. So he's going to go to HTTPS 10.0.1.4 backslash activate. And again, if you have a server, you're going to enter in that information here. So we're going to click OK. Then we're going to navigate down to roles. So admin and services and roles and we're going to create a new role. Now I'm going to call this internal network and I'm only going to give it specific access to our test network. Choose OK. Once the role is created now we're going to navigate down to our user and create a user for Brian. So username is going to be Brian 2018 and it is cap sensitive so be aware of that when you're creating a username we're going to enter in the password and we're going to make the role the internal network role that we just created for Brian so choose OK now that we have all this done we're going to navigate over to Brian's computer and see how things work out on his end so now we're here on Brian's computer and he's connected onto the test network so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to that URL which was HTTPS colon slash slash 10.0.1.4 forward slash activate. Now it takes us to our to the wireless LAN connection activation page. So with that user we just created, we're going to enter in the credentials here. So Brian, and remember it is case sensitive, 2018. 
we're going to enter in his password choose login now it's saying do I want to install the zero IT activation I'm going to continue Now the zero IT activation has been installed and just like that we've provided our guest Brian with the secure encryption and authentication. Now dynamic PSK is a much better way of securing your network unlike a typical PSK network which share a single key amongst all devices a dynamic PSK network assigns a unique key to every authenticated user on that network therefore whenever a person leaves the organization a network administrator doesn't need to change the password for every single device they can simply remove that device from the network by deleting the user now did you believe me when I said it's only for this one device I hope so Otherwise, you shouldn't be watching this video. But just for you non-believers, let's go ahead and navigate back to our screen. And let's try to download this configuration on our computer. So we're going to enter in HTTPS colon slash slash 10.0.1.4 forward slash activate. It's going to take us to the same page Brian was on. But we're going to try to enter in Brian's credentials on our machine and see where we get. See, I told you, but you didn't want to listen. Brian can only download this configuration for one device and one device only, or he can only do download it as many times as you allow. Well, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If so, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and navigate over to firewalls.com for all your firewall and secure network security based needs. That about wraps it up for me today. Stay tuned for more videos to come. You guys have a great day.